Hello. This is a teamwork video, Nomad Sculpt and Procreate. Let's create a leaf with texture, low poly. Okay, Nomad Sculpt. And you need a PNG image from a leaf with transparent background. Okay. Let's create a new scene. This is um, the beta of Nomad Sculpt 166, but it works uh, also with the version 165, uh, no problem. You can add um, a plane and bring it in the front view of the plane, it's nicer to work. Perspective off and turn the wireframe on and validate the object. Um, sorry. Let's lower the exposure a little bit. And we need more topology. Multi-resolution and linear subdivision and subdivide it up to a million, I think. Okay. We can turn the wireframe off. And now we need the paint brush or tool. Here we can um, select a texture and now import your PNG and turn the symmetry off. And the next important step is to create, create a layer. And symmetry is off um, and in the paint tool, we have to change the, the fall off to flat and grab dynamic radius. I think now we got all. And now make undo. And here in the alpha, choose a blank alpha and test it again. No, I think this is fine. Okay, we can bring in a light um, to see it better. Okay. Light icons we can hide. Now the layer here on the three dots there's an extraction function. You can set here the shell thickness we need zero and border smoothness is okay. We can use the complete border smoothness and now press extract. Here in the solo view, uh, we see yes the plane, and we can delete it. And we need only this one with a texture of the leaf and with a shape of the leaf. Okay. And the next step is to turn the wireframe on and. Now we decimate the mesh. Here in the decimation menu, press decimate <coughs> Now we have about uh, 
1500 vertices and it's okay. And the next step is to unwrap the UV map. Okay. And that's it. And now we export it to Procreate. Export OBJ. Let's check here. Uh, okay. And export it. Here. Here's now the leaf. And let's create a new layer. And we need a green color like this and fill the layer and create a new layer above and now bring in the PNG file. And now it's possible to place here the leaf, nice, that it fits here. And here you can um, sorry, this layer we can delete. And we can play around um, with uh, blend modes okay I think this one is nice and that's it and then you can share it and export it as OBJ Save. I delete it. Back to Nomad and this we don't need anymore. And here um, drag and drop the folder and you have here a nice leaf with a poly count of um, 1500 vertices and now it's possible to yes to bend it a little bit use a big brush and pick it here like this and it's also possible to use the multi-resolution. I turn on the wireframe and when you use the linear subdivision you can bring in more topology and you can use the crease brush for example. Small radius. Let's test it. Um, turn off the symmetry and brush here along a radius a little bit bigger. Yeah, this looks nicer. Now bring here. Yeah. 
yes, you can experiment with this. Um, and it's also possible, I think the inflate brush should work um, with a, to, to make this here a little bit bigger. No, other sub. And you can make here Yes, some adjustments. Okay. Um, yes, the next step is um, we need a, a new pivot. Turn on the gizmo and adjust the pivot here with the on the left side with the pivot function. and position it here and perhaps like this. And now when you bring in a, a tube, path, Sometimes and multi radius validate the object. And now let's pick the leaf. In the transform tool you can select only the move function and it's possible to use the snap and with the insert tool you can clone the object. Um, let's check the pivot here and change it, sorry, we use snapping. Okay, let's test it with this pivot. And yes, yeah, sometimes the pivot doesn't not work correct. Um, here in the transform you can now rotate the object and it's in the right position and turn off the rotate and the move function again and uh, now it should work fine. Now you can place here the leaves Be happy with your plant. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.